so far yeah. is the one I've seen. Like, yeah. yeah, last year, didn't we have the whole, um, we had, like, the whole hot stage. Or I know yeah. we did 2014, because that was the one where Moa and Yui were on Baby Metal Tour, and they had to pop up on the screen. Yeah. I remember that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think they ended up doing uh, Yume ni Mikate at Idol Jamboree. Did you see it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. That would make sense. Yeah, we always seem to do one of the uh, earlier SG songs instead of uh, a newer one. But That's I, true. Yeah, but I feel like they should expand to the newer ones because I like a lot of the newer ones too. Mm -hmm. And I think it'd be uh, pretty fun to see everybody just do the song together. Well, it's also because I think at the Idol Jamboree, it's um, they knew that there was going to be a, a mixed crowd because it's mixed <laughs> groups. And mm -hmm. Sakura Gakuen's earlier stuff, the music definitely is more standard idol fare whereas the songwriting has changed a bit it's not it's it's somehow yeah, it's, not as idly yeah it's more well known their older stuff's more well known too so yeah, yeah. i mean personally personally i'd like to see some other idols perform heart no hoshi with them but that's just me <laughs> uh, yeah. that would imagine that would like akb 48 just having like pom-poms and stuff like that <laughs> <laughs> one making one giant heart <laughs> But I feel like then it would they would kind of need to go into the studio and do some yeah pre pre work yeah yeah that would be all right um since we're on the topic of TIF what do you guys think about Kobaibo or Kobaibu purchasing club Kobaibu oh my goodness I love I I love Sugumin I love everything she does and it's gonna be great <laughs> I think it's just gonna be great. Yeah, new member of Sugumi. I'm so hype. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's uh, great. Yeah. She's already she's already in more she's already in more in more uh, after school activities in Kano, so I guess it's good for her. Poor Kano, <laughs> man. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> is the the subunit I think that that I'm surprised they didn't come up with earlier, because it's just the subunit yeah. they used to sell more shit, <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah. And so now There's they have. Two, six and there's nothing wrong so with they're it. good to yeah so they're they're good to not replace anyone for another three years and like yeah this is like this is one of very few situations mm -hmm. where like you you can do something like that and people yeah. don't care because we we already know we're gonna buy all this shit don't <laughs> it's not <laughs> condescending or rude at all yeah. like like yeah yeah show us that tell us tell us what we're gonna spend all our money on <laughs> even though most of the time it's already run out Oh, yeah. I know, right? <laughs> Pretty much. I remember. Also, like, oh, yeah. Oh, you know, you got, you can go. I remember, like the uh, previous shows, uh, she'd I, um, she'd always have to apologize because all this stuff was sold out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. They're just, they're, also, they're too good for their own good. Pretty much. So those uh, the new summer uniforms. We didn't talk about those yet. That's probably one of the biggest things. I personally love, love, love the whole like ties concept. They look pretty fucking cool. What do you guys think about those? Still trying I to get like used being to, able to see ties. And one thing that I had pointed out that Ivana actually schooled me on was that you can't. Is that this is the first real iteration of the uniform where you can see those leather leather straps on their skirts? Yeah. I didn't realize they were there until I saw them this time. And then Ivana and then Ivana just told me, "Oh no, they've." been there since the beginning and then i went back and if you look really hard you can see them like every now and again on like three pictures that i found and like you could just never see them before and i just think that's a cool stylistic element really and i actually I didn't like that, that. <laughs> wow yeah all right Personally, i like i like the blue polo as well yeah gives it a nice change and it goes well with the um the green skirt I like all the new uniforms this year. Like I like the charcoal yeah, jacket. Yeah. I think that's the coolest yeah, color they've yeah. so far. I agree. I agree. True. True. All right. Moving on. Yes. Very low girl. Yeah, so low girl last week. Um Hori Sensei wasn't there. <laughs> I don't know. But Aiko-sensei like was. Aiko-sensei <laughs> was. And she did extremely well. Like, 
I remember so, I, seeing someone in the chat was, was like, oh, I wasn't expecting Aqua to do that well. Like, excuse me, she's vice president. <laughs> she's vice president. I mean, she's only that because of seniority, but you can you can have that. <laughs> Lord. Lord. Do you want to fight me on this? I, pro I, I could fight you if I wanted to, but... Why are you such a... Iko hater, man. Why you? I don't. I don't <laughs> hate. I, I don't hate Iko. Right. God, God gave. You're just asking to be punched right now. <laughs> She's just my least favorite. All right. Yeah, Gabe hates Iko. <laughs> I don't hate her. Oh my God. <laughs> no. No, that's, thirty that's people the are gonna hate me right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, but, Rip Gabe. Anyway, right, you, you guys. Can continue Ico talk. We'll just sit here quietly. Anyway, well, go ahead. Well, we're talking about low girl, not just Ico. Yeah, but I will say I'll deduct, I'll deduct some points for no cosplay, because I personally like the cosplays and uh. Only two is... of them did that, right? Yeah. Now wait, now that's fifty percent though. Come no, on. And... No, no and Uga. No and Uga. But the thing is that 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 cosplay thing—it was very much their style. It doesn't seem as much of an Ico thing to do. Ico and me. Shira, it, was, it didn't seem like that. And like, yeah, it's not it's not a bad thing. It's just, you know, a difference, I guess. But anyway, during the show, they did, uh, what was the first period? They did something with play on words. And as expected, Momoko did not win. Bakamo. 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 Oh, yeah. Curious to see what she's going to do. Yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah. So, our hair expert, Suti, uh, what do you think of everybody's hair that episode? <laughs> Everybody's hair was. You know, actually, this is actually a funny learn. story because before we started watching the logo, because we, we were watching it together, we saw that tweet that they uh, tweeted out beforehand of the girls' backs. And I was really surprised to find out that, that the hair was Momoko's. Yeah. Because I wasn't expecting her to uh, rock that hair. And I was surprised because it worked out. Although it wasn't like the best hair, it worked out for me. And I, I do agree with Gabe because he mentioned that when she pulled her hair back behind her ears, it looked, it looked way better. And so I good. Agree it so way good. Better. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I think for Frankie's, our, Frankie's our resident hair expert, apparently. He's a hair expert. I, so I wouldn't say I'm a hair expert. I'm just a hair judge. Hair, like critic. Hair, 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 hair critic. Hair critic. Hair critic. There you go. That's the right word. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> what else happened on Little Girl? Um, they didn't do Gambare. They just no. pretty much they pretty much just talked about TIF and showed the photos. Yeah. Which if, you, if you have a chance, go watch Little Girl. Shout out to yeah. Missing You. For the MR. episode, definitely. Mr. 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 <laughs> shout shout out shout out to uh Onji and uh, this is other person who subs it. I don't remember. Yeah, her no. name. Oh, he, I, he, I don't know. I don't know who that is, but shout out to whoever that is. People only you remember Onji. Right? Only you can only uh, thank Onji. Oh, uh -huh. shout out to Akumaru to Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to Kumi Metal Gabe. He wants a shout out. <laughs> Shout out to Kuma. Shout out to Kuma. By the way, since we're All giving right. out shout outs, shout out to Iwashi for subbing 64. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't expect uh, that. Yeah, thank you. All right. Uh, I guess next topic, Babe Metal News. So, um, I feel like I'm the only one here who's like still, still has a heart, like a big, big heart for Babe Metal. Since a lot of people, at least, at least a lot of people I know, are like mostly SG now, they still like bay metal, but they're not mm -hmm. as like invested in bay metal activities. How are you guys? How are you guys? How are you guys feeling about that? Like, yeah, I don't follow yeah. baby metal. I guess. I mean, I I know what happens because people are always talking about it, and it's always yeah. Yeah. I mean, I guess relevant, but I I treat it on the same. Same level as I like, treat like other graduate activities, like mm -hmm. watching like Night of Speaker and stuff, and um, you know, things like that. Actually, uh, I think me, same. Oh. Yeah, that's that's the sort of level I think of it. Yeah. As being on. 
But uh, yeah, most recent stuff was the APMAs that happened. And or is it next weekend? It's, when is that? It's it's next I month. I don't even know. It's next, next month. Next month? Next yes. month. It's September. But oh, well, I'm off time. I thought I, I thought I knew people that already went to Japan there that are in Japan for that. Like now. Not Maybe quite. they're just planning on spending two months there. I would have yeah, never know. talked to these people that much. And Japan's a pretty cool place. <laughs> yeah, I mean Japan's a pretty yeah, you know, their performance with Rob Helford is was pretty legendary in my opinion. Like it's, I I think it it really like pushes them into the whole, uh, like more into the world of like metal acceptance, I guess, since there's still a decent amount of non-believers out there. So I, I just yeah, great. In tears, the whole performance. Yes, sir. Proud of my, proud of my baby Sue. <laughs> that's all. That's all about baby and all. That's all I know. <laughs> all right. Yeah, I'm not qualified to speak anymore. Yeah. Clearly. Yeah. All right, and a little graduate news. Oh, There's a really new play. There's we got yeah. the play. Yeah. New play. You're not the. I don't know. I'm just, I'm, that's, that's something I'm real hype about. I don't, I don't even know what kind of direction they're mm-hmm. going to take that. But I hope there's a recording of it. And I hope it ends up being the next. Uh, um, Sun episode? Ak- Akogare no Frenzu episode. <laughs> with where, where, uh, where you turns into Irie. Like, okay, I, <laughs> I know the haters are out there. Yeah. Cough. That is a I hate. love those. I love those. those are, and I'm hoping those are this art. is going to be that. I'm hoping this is going to be that part two. Yeah. Or part new. Or, I wouldn't say or, there's haters out there. Maybe just dislikers. <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> no, but, uh, oh, yeah. I really... <laughs> but I really hope they release, you know, some sort of um, content for it, like a DVD, maybe, like just did, like like they did for the festival or Sun episodes, so we have a chance to watch them. Because um, you know, tickets are being sold out pretty fast, according to what Andre said last Low Girl stream. So yeah, I hope. And like, when is it actually for... happening? Um, <laughs> before before. 2017, right? Like in fall. Uh, um, hopefully. Hopefully. Well, not hopefully for me. I'm wondering if it's going to happen. There's going to be thir- there's going to be 13 to go to 13 performances Eight. from August 24th to September 4th. Uh, rip. Oh, it's opening like soon. Yep, 10 days. What? They Shit. haven't like told us anything about it yet. There. Oh my goodness. I guess they're just going to let us be surprised. I guess that's the plan. So. The thing is, um, yeah. Hinata and Marina, they're not appearing together, but they're playing the same role. So out of the 13, dance, yeah, yeah d- during the 13 performances, you'll either see either Hinata or Marina. If you go to so one of them, them is going to have one more performance than the other one, basically. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go, Marina. So we're going to have to like do like the gladiator death match. Yeah, or something. probably. Watch that. I mean, no, not a Real death match. Yeah. Oh, oh God, no! I hope not. <laughs> but I'd watch that. I can, I can see, I can see, I can see him, him, him not a fighting, but not, not Marina really. Marina just flail her arms and not know what mm-hmm. she's doing. Why are we even <laughs> talking about this? That's the best part. <laughs> Come on. Yes, yeah, so we're discussing gladiatorial combat between SG graduates. That's what this podcast. I mean, is we're talking about that. Connor would destroy everybody. Come on, let's oh yeah. I mean, who else? Who else can lift? Who else can lift a Reno? I don't know, man. I guess I think like Rauda is pretty strong. Hana too. I don't know, but Aiko also swears she can beat Hana at arm ha- ha- wrestling. Oh. According to Menzo, say 2014. Yeah. Only the false god knows. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. Anything about Ayaka and Aidy? 
Smirch Ayaka's still smirch. gorgeous. She's always been gorgeous. She's been gorgeous. Yeah, th- th- so that hasn't changed. So she's she's too beautiful be for this world. She's going to keep being in the Seventeen magazines. Yeah. I'm going to buy all those. Uh, oh, and she got the haircut. Yes. <laughs> the, uh, all right, let's uh, bring that yeah, to our hair expert. Moment, C3. C3. So the hair critic. <laughs> the hair critic. Well, first of all, it's Sutia. And as for her hair, I actually really like it. The only uh, pictures I didn't really like it was when she did the article where she was wearing this uh, blue The blue dress? Thing. That's the one I translate. Yeah, the blue dress. It was okay there, but recently looking at her Instagram pictures, it looks really good nowadays. Nowadays. I don't have a problem no, with her hair in that saying. article. I just don't, I don't really get the outfit that she wore in that article. She looks like a... She looks like one of the wives on Big Love. You know, with the Mormons. <laughs> I hope that doesn't offend anyone, but like... Yeah. You know, is rocking it. Rocking that hair. She rocks everything. But yeah, she she rocks everything. She rocks really, really. She rocked she rocked the three DS at one point. All right. <laughs> oh yeah, Monster Hunter. That was pretty good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she rocks the rocks. And then, and then Irene asked if is that like Pokemon? <laughs> oh no, uh, she has the new commercials for that. She has like a mobile game commercial that she didn't know, mm-hmm. which is that's the next thing yeah. on our list. Actually, the Irene news. Yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> so to be fair, Irene is pretty commercial. much in everything now. So. <laughs> yeah. I, when I was in Japan, he, yeah, she was on like yeah, me too. She was on she was, vending yeah, machines everywhere. <laughs> yeah, she was vending machines, with, oh, subways. Irene, she's ads. She, she's everywhere. Whenever I saw something with Irie on it, it, it didn't matter if I was thirsty. If she was holding a water bottle, I'd buy the Irie water bottle. <laughs> wow. <laughs> like I'd go up to the machine, and my friends would just be like, "Oh, get that freak! It's good." And I'd be like, "I'm sorry, I have to buy the one Irie's holding." <laughs> I don't think they really understood. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, uh, both of their merch, they both have merch on a smart yeah. now, I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah and, you, you can uh, go check that out. One of our commenters yeah. uh, reminded me that, that yeah, Ayaka's in the new One Piece film, although not a big character. She's still in One Piece film, which is a big yeah. thing because One Piece is yeah. really big in Japan. That's why she went to Abu Dhabi recently, right? Yeah. There are pictures yeah, of that. In uh, Yukata, right? Oh, was I wrong? Was it? Yeah, they were wearing. Some some variety of kimono. I think it might be more formal than the yukata. Yukata is usually just sort of plainish cotton. Well, you're you're the expert here, so you like can decide on way. that. There's like there's like forty or fifty different kinds of kimono that you, you could yeah. name if you wanted to. It was a um, and and you can stylize them based on like different. You can name them based on different criteria like the shape of the sleeve or how many layers it has so depending on, so something can technically qualify as being multiple different types of kimono i think oh oh well i'm, I'm not right. an expert in this and this is also not what the podcast is about <laughs> anyway <laughs> yeah so it's just we're just hanging out talking yeah talking is party hanging out so that's why it's called the hangout you know hanging yeah out. yeah just sort of hanging out anyway hanging. moving on to router news um not, the last night of Speaker was like a month ago, and there hasn't been an announcement of the next too, one. But too long. But the last one, um, they did some country studies. They went to a couple of restaurants. They went to, an, I think it was in Israel, themed restaurant, um, Peru, or yeah, Peru. And guinea pig. No, they did not. That's Peru, and then, they went, and then they went shopping for like little things from different countries. It was a pretty good episode. Um, I suggest signing up for Okawari. Very good service. You can watch Not As Big over and over again. Um, what if I had any money? Rip. If you don't have any money, then catch it live. That's yeah, the best you can do. <laughs> darn you, A Smart. <laughs> uh, anyway, Raoul is also on a show called. I'll give a Totoshi. You might remember that name from the 2014 song. Uh, I haven't seen anything yet from the show, but I just know that she's on it. Yeah, people haven't been mm. recording it like they did the, um, yeah. with Cheer Doll. Yeah. yeah. To be fair, she's a smaller well, character they, this time. Yeah, they uploaded it on yeah. the show. Yeah. 
Plus, she's That's a true. she's a not she's not a major character anyway. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> anyway, All should right. we move on? Move on from yep. Let's move on to the Ivana news. I mean, Hinata news. <laughs> so. <laughs> Take it away. Uh, you guys might have seen this just, on Reddit just, already. Just, uh, just so you know, I can't see your face, but I know how your face lit. I can see your face lighting up when we're moving into this part. But go Look, on. Go I'm sitting in a way that I can see all my Hinata, like my Hinata poster, my Hinata <laughs> photo cards, and the photos. So like, I'm set. I'm set for this topic. <laughs> <laughs> all right go all right. anyway um last night on twitter you know announced that she was on the love live sunshine episode and i watched it mm-hmm. I, I watched that specific episode last night um she no spoilers. is voicing <laughs> ria i think i don't know her last name but Yes, she is voicing a character on Love Life Sunshine. Um, their group is called Saint Snow. And if you haven't seen Love Life or Love Life Sunshine, you should go watch it. Uh, Love Life is one of Moa's favorite animes. If I'm not if I'm not wrong, right? Yeah, she yes, would always talk about it. Yes. Her dreams yes. to be so, little. <laughs> about it. Yes, yeah, so it's like Love Life is pretty big actually. And that's that's a big no, it's, thing for you. It's 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 not it's big. Really, it's huge. Yeah, it's a, no, it's, it's a huge, huge deal. It's huge. <laughs> it's huge. It's huge. So he not he not to being on this dude. That was the one thing what? you could see everywhere. Like, yeah, graduates going on One Piece now. Love life. Admittedly, that's Sunshine not. not as much. It was yeah, still easy to find yeah. the Sunshine shit, but like yeah. the like the ad advertisements you'd see like in public. Like they had one on the Seven Eleven on my block when I was there mm-hmm. last month. They had. A banner was like the love life characters advertising yeah. something or other. I didn't really care. Yeah. Like, oh my god! Every anime store you went to, there were aisles for love life crap. Like, yeah, yeah definitely. And it's... every arcade you went to, there was at least one arcade the... machine with love life stuff. Yeah. 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 Definitely. Like she went, like he not to went from jobless for it's like jobless. months. <laughs> she wasn't doing anything for months to this. And I'm just so proud. <laughs> it's it's um, kind of sad in a way because Marina's the one that wanted to be an anime voice actor, but everybody else is getting the I anime know. voice work. <laughs> I know, it's so yeah, sad. Yeah, and <laughs> that's the next thing on our list, actually. I'm not done. I'm but not done. We're not done, done with him. <laughs> yeah, no, he's not done. He's not done. <laughs> oh, see, now I forgot what I was going to say. Okay, yeah, with Hinata as well, her character, since I watched the episode um, last night, it's up on illegal sites. I don't suggest it. Um, also subbed. Hinata's character is pretty badass. <laughs> uh, if you guys saw the Twitter video um, that was posted on Reddit by Mr. Kuma Metal, the part after that, she, her freaking character does a backflip <laughs> out of nowhere. And her character doesn't speak much. Like, you literally don't hear her character speak for the whole episode, but you hear her character sing. So it's like, really, it's refreshing to hear Hinata's voice again. Anyway, moving on from Love Live, um, Hinata also face swapped with Aiko. And as you know, Aiko is my second favorite member. So I'm dying on the inside and on, on, on the outside as well. Aren't we all? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Gabe. Oh, yeah, I'm, sh- I'm sure you are too, Gabe. Yeah, yeah, oh man, I go. God, so <laughs> adorable, you know? Can't get enough of her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah uh, Hinata posted on Twitter as well. She's like, uh, guess who I face swapped with? And everyone's like, I go. Is like, it obvious? It's kind of obvious, though. Like, it's. How is that a question? You post a picture with Aiko's face on it. <laughs> Rhetorical love goon. Not to be taken seriously. But <laughs> anyway, she also posted a photo with Maya. Um while they were practicing for the play earlier. 
You see how the, the volume of her voice I... goes down when she says something other than Aiko and then he <laughs> True. True. Well I did wow. not expect her to just take a random photo of Maya. Well, Maya's been they're... part of the muse for a while and And mm. they're practicing together for the play yeah. anyways, so yeah. why not? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Anyway, moving on from Hinata. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done now. You sure? Okay, next on the list yeah. is Marina. She's also I'm done. Playing. But what else has <laughs> she been doing lately? What was the last time uh, we saw Marina? Last time we saw play? Marina was she did her the profile picture update, the little um date thing. The little date thing. Yeah, the thing where her... she walked around in the Yukata. Yeah. And her last play for or a card fight vanguard where she was yeah. kind of a side side character. And that's it. <laughs> that's, that's, I, I, would, I would go to one of those plays. These Japanese plays, they got some crazy looking ones that you can yeah. see. They got advertisements for them all on the train stations. Mm -hmm. Like when I was in Kyoto, they had one that they were advertising for play about like Oda Nobunaga, but like put on entirely by women. Oh, I saw that. Yeah, I saw the that. Cast too. was women, and I didn't get to see it. It was it was playing in Kyoto and Osaka when I was there, but well, I couldn't read Japanese, I just so I, I had no idea how to get to it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Is that all uh, from Marina? Yeah, moving on from Marina, we got Yunano. Yunano, Charles Skuma. Uh, yeah, yeah. We, just, we just want to bring Kuma here, like... Hey, Kuma, where you at? <laughs> you know, actually, we have Kuma in the uh, backstage right now. You backstage? Know, backstage. <laughs> backstage. Kuma, what's backstage. new with you, Nana? <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> well, she's, she's still on Instagram. She was on the yeah. game commercial with Irie, briefly. Yeah. She didn't say a lot. She was there. Um, she I love her new she hair. She does, like... She mainly does like live fashion shows, so we don't yeah. see a lot of that, I guess. Yeah. Um, if you want more info about Inano, you can go hit up Kuma Metal. Yeah. 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 He, I, I don't think he's ever going to turn down okay, a yeah. about Inano. Yeah. So. I personally love her new hair. Mr. Uh, hair Expert, what do you think? I, don't, I actually don't think it was her new hair, but it was her hair for a certain fashion show. But you're right. Mm -hmm. I actually really like the curly style more than the straight mm -hmm. style i feel like it fits the more mature look while the straight was just kind of going for some new but not really achieving it but then the curls it, it raised the bar and it got there it was like oh you know what we here we here we doing good and yeah i i, I think it worked i think it worked as well Anyway, Kuma Metal has left the backstage. He, oh, yeah, oh yeah. no, no, he's there. <laughs> nothing. He says nothing. She's ju her, just at her grandpa's place, spending a bit of her summer there. So that's what's up with you now. All right. Thank you, Kuma. That Thank you, Kuma. <laughs> anyway, anything new with Hana? Um, just her Twitter being down, which sad is all. Still, she's living her dream. She for wrestlers and stuff. So, ever. yeah. Tarahime is going places. I think that show that they were doing is closing out soon-ish, if it hasn't already. The one that was running when yeah. I went. Yeah. Was, um... Oh, before we, before we get on to more Hana news, I want to also mention that you now was in a picture with Reno. Oh, yeah, the Reno. Oh, yeah. uh, our, our genius of SG. Genius, genius and uh, our fake honor student. Yeah. I fake honesty. Renown's my second favorite, so everybody's known. <laughs> Plus, I also want to mention that Aiko had a diary with Renown, too. So Renown's been popping yeah. up everywhere. Oh, you can't, boy, get, you can't get rid of her. You can't get, you can't get rid of the president. Reno. <laughs> She's always in the background. <laughs> yeah. It's her dream to be in backstage. Sure, <laughs> sure. And let's hope she comes back soon. Yeah. yeah, I hope. I really hope. I just, I just hope she's happy. That's all that matters. <laughs> True, that too. That too. Yeah, Hana Tarahime, she's also been doing the New Japan pro wrestling stuff. Yeah. With Kanuya. Uh, 
and, uh, and she's with, also um, shot some pictures. Yeah. And the pictures Those. with the dudes, yeah, and the masks. The wrestlers, yeah. Mask. Hey, shout out to uh, Ritsu Crackers, our local Hana fan. Oh yeah, shout out to Ritsu. Def, <laughs> defo. <laughs> anyway. Wow. Yeah. Is that all? With can you Hana? imagine like? Can you imagine Hana like? Just like just ran like a picture with Hana and John Cena. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness! That's my, that's, that's my dream photo. That honestly. would be it. That would that, be that, that would that, be the that, end. That, that would be that. It would, would end. The, it would end the internet and life as we know it. Like boom. <laughs> that's, that's and John main, Cena. That's the main. That John Cena. That'd the be, universe yeah. would just swallow itself. It would just be like we're done here. <laughs> yeah, we're done. <laughs> All is right in the world. <laughs> that, that the world stops good, turning. Sadly, <laughs> Sadly, WWE just had a re- recent event in Tokyo, so they probably won't be back for a while. Seeing as they just did one, and Hana wasn't didn't get a chance to capture a picture with the guy you can't see. Oh, how unfortunate! <laughs> anyway, moving on to the last graduate that we have news for at least. Mariri. 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 Muddy. Recently on that um that episode of whatever that was, I don't know what that that show is, but it yeah, was, that uh, show <laughs> some sort of stream. Apparently, that she show. barely talked during the entirety of it. Someone posted on Reddit. <laughs> Yo, show no, no, I, like she talked for like that. she talked for like five minutes out of the like the hour it was on or something. Yeah, she really and like talked. apparently. <laughs> Go ahead. I just want to say she really talked. It was pretty boring. The same. It's like it's like Onji showed up to translate her lines, and then he only had to do like he only <laughs> had to do stuff for like five minutes of it. Apparently, I wasn't there for it. Some people were telling me about it, and I did watch it after the fact. Well, I didn't watch the whole thing. I skipped to the Mariri parts because there were just like there were like twenty minute blocks when she didn't talk. I didn't really care about anything else, to be honest. Yeah. yeah. Especially when I have to listen myself. She had 14 lines, basically. Wow. I'm really, she that's, was just uh, pretty. That's less lines than Joker in the new Suicide Squad movie. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Joker had a, a decent amount of lines. Decent. decent. In my opinion. Marie probably still had more. <laughs> I would disagree. But... <laughs> Moving on with Mariri news, she also left Amuse recently, uh, continuing a line of trend that a lot of our recent graduates have done, which is sad. But let's hope they reunite in the future. But yeah, she's not disappearing entirely because as soon as she ended her Amuse contract, she got a Twitter. She got a Twitter, which means, yeah, Twitter. she's not down for the count. She's just. Not with the muse. You know, seeking brighter shores. It's speaking yes. speaking of um, graduates that left, Ayami's overseas right now, just in case you guys didn't mm-hmm. yeah, remember. New Zealand yeah. or something is what the word around town is. But I, I, I never saw that's her the rumor. that, but that's what people say. I don't know why you would get New Zealand out of anything. <laughs> I mean, they know it's an English-speaking country. That's the only thing she's confirmed, right? Yeah. Yeah. But then there are people who say New Zealand, and I, I'm not sure where that that supposition comes from. <laughs> I'm thinking that Fuke from New Zealand are just hoping. <laughs> are there any Fuke a... from New Zealand? I don't know. Wait, Wait there's one. Fuke... We, have, we have the census, and there's, I think there's like one person from New Zealand. Really... If you're from New Zealand, you're in the chat right now. Please say you're from New Zealand, <laughs> so we know who you are. <laughs> Guys, I lied. I'm sorry. I'm from New Zealand, oh, not wow, Australia. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But yeah, <laughs> I think that's it for our news, right? Any, any, any other? Um, as as far news, as uh, the new song, the new SG song, is gonna be on the Chow ending thing. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Is that already available? Yeah. I don't think so. I haven't. I don't... I... I haven't I heard, heard it yet. Someone, yeah. Someone say that they actually bought the Chow DVD and you can see part DVD. of it on there. Is that what I heard? There's a DVD or something? This is all hearsay and I might be remembering it wrong. So 
I mean, I haven't seen any of it on the internet. But, um, yeah, it's supposed to have a quote-unquote classical music theme. I think what they mean by that is just, like, old music. Yeah, because... well, as far as we got a preview, and there was some uh, relevance to some old music. Yeah, a greater music. part of the melody was um, Beethoven's Ninth, the, the Ode to Joy, and then... Another part was um, the canon in D, Pachelbel's canon, which is technically Baroque, which is what I'm saying. Have good here with the expertise on his old music. I guess so. I'm, uh, yeah, I, I took a class on Baroque music a couple years ago. I only got a C in it, but I know a lot about the Baroque C is period still specifically. <laughs> <laughs> that is the lowest grade I think I ever got in a class, ever. So yeah, uh, Polyos is right. The new song preview already happened, and uh, yeah, it's only a preview. We're just like kind of talking about it. Well, so Download Festival is coming to Australia. Um, I don't know if they'll book Baby Metal, but it's a hopeful thing. So there's hope for Australia. Yeah, you're one of those. Bye, Hashtag Australia. hope for Australia. Follow SG. Comment if you're from Australia in the chat. <laughs> Anyway, um, I think that's it for news, right? Yeah. Shall we move on to a general discussion? Just about anything, anything you guys want, want us to talk about, we gotcha. Anything going on with your life? <laughs> anything going on with life? Oh, yeah, questions. <laughs> if you have questions, tweet us or uh, ask them in the chat. We'll be watching. We have our first question. What merch do you want the most that you don't have? Everything. Uh, Everything. But let's give a specific answer. Uh, let's start with I want Up Upgoon. I want the other two graduation photo books that I have and a signed copy of the one that I have an unsigned copy of. <laughs> Which ones are those? Because I have okay, I have an unsigned 2013. And I have a signed Suzuka and the most recent one, the 2015. I have signed copies of those. So I want to sign 2013 and the 2011 and 2014 ones. I want those too. When I get all those, I'll be complete. And I know exactly where to get all of them. I just didn't <laughs> get all of them. But I'm going to. Next year. Yeah. By next this year. time next year. By this Let's... time next year. All right. All right. Um, or hell, maybe next... by this time. In, in in January or something. Who knows? Well, eventually. <laughs> Next, Gabe. What do you want? What merch do you want that you don't have? Uh, <laughs> too many, man. Too many. Uh, <laughs> uh, all the keychains from last year. Uh, every SG shirt. Ever. Well, okay, calm down. Um. <laughs> 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 What's this, like one or two things uh, that like you really want that you would like uh pray your hands out that you if you had a different chance pray my hands out <sighs> probably Suzuka's um graduation diploma like that's probably like the dream merch object like Suzuka's graduation diploma yeah that like number one priority if like there ever if there ever is a chance of me obtaining it then that would probably be that would probably be it yeah, yeah. what about you frankie <laughs> um as for me i'm actually not sure but the 2013 grad book does sound really nice since i am a huge fan a huge fan of that year and me mine too. is like my all-time favorite um so yeah I, I'd say the South Asian grad book. What about you, Imana? Me? I just want a fucking shirt. Okay. <laughs> I missed out on the sh the restock of the shirts. I'm poor. Um, I mean, I have quite some merch. I just want a shirt, though. Also some, uh, uh, what is it? Uh, the My Generation 
the Sakura Ban, the the other version, <laughs> not the regular that's version. A, that's a good one. <laughs> anyway, I, uh, this is a question from uh, Akamaru two two six, aka um, Swim. Swim or you know Shane. <laughs> Shane. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he asks, when is Logo 48 coming out? I don't know. You know, you should ask Akamaru226 that question. <laughs> we'll just uh, say hashtag soon. Hashtag soon it is. Hashtag soon. Hashtag soon. Only the boss god knows. All right, there. Good. Only the, <laughs> uh, only Shane knows. <laughs> <laughs> only Shane knows. Holy yeah, shit. There's another question um, from the Glimmer Twin. With this episode's sub- subtle hair theme, what are the host's top three SG haircuts? Oof. Oh, can I start? Let's start with the hair. <laughs> you start, we'll start with Frankie. Sure, start with Frankie. Okay. My favorite haircut is the one uh, similar to what Mirena had at the beginning of the year in the gray uniform photo shoot and what Marina had at the beginning of 2013. The hair, which um, is kind of like a mini ponytail to the side. Um, I'm not sure how to describe it, but it looks really nice, and I really adore that haircut. And if you're still confused about what I'm talking about, it's the first 2013 SG photo shoot and the first great uniform photo shoot of this year. Look at those haircuts. Those are really nice for me. And as far as other hair goes, I would say just the straight long haircuts. Uh, so hairstyles are pretty good too simple and man <laughs> simple yeah simple is nice and also let's see the uh off the top of my head some of the buns are really good especially the tr- the trademark ue bun also really good and that's it for me how about you guys okay yeah i have this up figured good. out up good. number three right. for me would be um, Nene's hair that one time they were on idling and it was like a wrap. It was like a braid that went around her head. Oh, she, that was really nice. That was really That's nice. my oh, number yeah, three. Yeah. My number two, I'm not sure if this really counts because it was after she was at a soccer gawk win, but when Night of Speaker had the, the, um, the live show with like the audience, Rao's hair for that episode was so on point. Which That's one? my number two. Which one? The the one where she guessed the the Tsuchinoko because and she attributed it to being because of the class test oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. in the previous year. Yeah, yeah. That one, you know what I'm talking about now? Excellent. Yeah, her hair for that was excellent. And my first favorite was um Renan's haircut in this picture that I have on my desk right here from the red brick photo set from last year with the headband. Just simple. And that's my favorite. And honorable mention, Momoe's side ponytail. Honorable oh, yeah, mention. True. Side is really nice. true. I also liked her, uh, her braid hairstyle from the gray uniform. <laughs> wow, is it your turn again? I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Please. Come on. I'm just kidding. Jeez, can't play around. All right, uh, I guess I'll go. Uh, no particular order. There really isn't like a haircut of Suzuka's or Reno's that I didn't like off the top of my head. Like but any of the earlier like early SG Suzuka hairs, like I really like a lot. Like with her pigtails and like stuff like that. Or her hair tie back. Um mm-hmm. lots of Reno's hair is really good. Um and I agree with the chat. Hannah has has really like just solid hair. Um, no, but now that I think about it, I don't think she's really experimented with anything else. Not that uh, she needs to, but she's had a but, few different hairs here, there, like a twin tails kind of thing. But but compared to everybody else, she but she hasn't really done too much with her hair, hasn't she? Uh, definitely not as much. Yeah, yeah, just pretty much my top three hairs are my top three. Like you can't, Remember yeah, I can't like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but early early SG Suzuka hair is probably my, like my favorite, most number one, and the rest is Hannah Arena in, in no particular order. Nice, Ivana. 
All right, let me lay it down for you guys. <laughs> Number three, Aiko's hair on the previous logo. Number two, Rauda's hair in that cult quiz. The um, when they were watching the old videos and guessing, answering. Oh, I remember that one. Related to it. That was from no. 2013, right? Yes, 2013. Yeah. Number one, Hinata's logical hair. Like. Oh, with the bun and the and the, the bun the little and the like, straws the sticking out of it. Yeah. yeah. Like that's so cool. Like how? She's my. That's my. That's in my screensaver on my laptop right now. Because it oh, has so Hinata and Logica. Since we're on the topic of hairs, I will say that I think Hinata's had overall <laughs> the best, pretty good hairstyles throughout SG. Wow. And and Reno has has had the most creative hairstyles during SG. <coughs> that's all I want to say. <laughs> All right, another question. Who do you think is going to be the most successful transfer in this year? All of them. Oh. Uh, how do you define success? Yeah. How, how do you? Do you... I'll, I'll just give my answer. Since you guys are, are like, thinking about this moment where... I just said all of them, man. I would say it's a gimme just because she has a slight head start with her club. But... Like as of right now, I don't think anyone and like no one's really like pulling it. Maybe maybe Izumi just because she has the Chaos Mouse thing. They but, were all already yeah. a success to me just by transferring yeah. in. So <laughs> that's true. Yeah, but that's like, exactly that's like the easy way out though, guys. We want hard already answers. Win. We want hard answers, and my answer is Moe because you want Sophie's choice. You, that's what you want. Huh? You just want to be a critic. That's what you want. No 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 <laughs> no no. Let me First the hair critic, now success <laughs> critic. No, my favorite transfer is Yuzumi. So I'm not uh, picking favorites or anything. I but same. Moment, same. Moment would be the most successful because she has, she has a lot of confidence going in. She has a character built up with her uh, Buriko. And she seems to really like SG and, and Baby Mel as well. So she has the attitude going in. So she seems to me to be the, the most successful. And she has four years ahead of her, which is a lot. And that's why I think Mole will be, will be really successful. No, counterpoint, have you seen Yuzumi's serious face? It's my yeah, favorite I've, thing. I've seen many faces, and that doesn't prove anything. That, that doesn't prove that she's going to be successful. I don't see why that would say that she's No, 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 no but you just got to look at it. You just gotta look at it. I just uh, that that's my whole argument right there. That's that's, that's it. So hard. <laughs> yeah, I heard serious face is pretty like exhibit A it's, gives it's, you serious face. Yeah, yeah. I mean she doesn't touch the Mar in like serious face, but it's <laughs> it's up there. It's it's up there. The, it's not, the Mar in serious face is different. Uh it's not fair. It's, uh... I just wanna say that it's not fair. That's all I wanna say. <laughs> 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 Shout out to Echo Specter who got crazy from Marine. That one little girl episode. I see you. <laughs> um, moving on to the next question, if you guys aren't going to answer this seriously, what current member? Which current members would you put in the wrestling club? Oh, the wrestling Kano. club. Ooh. Kano, uh, yes. Kano, Kano easy. Defo. Just Defo, Kano, Kano. That's it. Just Kano. That's it. Just Kano. Just Kano. <laughs> Dang. But if you had ever, to pick one other ever... person, who would it be? That's a that's a tough one. <sighs> yeah, I think Kano a is a good. I think Kano is a given. I would I, I would do but Kano and Aiko, hard. so they can like Aiko? take fight it out. And no. yeah. <laughs> I can see Aiko, but if, if you if you factor in the fact that Aiko is going to be, do you think it's it's not so relevant that she's a second grader, is it? Because they last year they were putting people in subunits that were seniors. That, I've never been in those units, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Kano and Aiko seem pretty good. I'm not sure the wrestling club is one of the clubs that's more likely to see a revival, though. No, yeah, oh, I agree. Yeah. If there are yeah. even any that do. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. What is even around still in part? All we have left that we know is still around is Mini Potty and Kobayu because they both appeared at TIF. And because they both, well, they added a member to Kobayu, but Mini Potty was already fully formed last year. 
Right. Mini potty part my, three. My my dream honestly is uh Sarah and Megu reviving scoopers, but I know that's not gonna happen. <laughs> yeah. They had like the informal revival of it with yeah. Yui and Rima yeah. and that was yeah. like my yeah. thing. If I would like cut off one of my fingers to see a new tennis club, new pastel wind, mm-hmm. that is my favorite subunit. And I, I'm like in a very small minority there, I think, but like I would so I would just die if they made a new pastel wind. And mm. and yeah, that's another thing. If they reboot any of the clubs this year, uh, can they please write some new fucking songs for it? I really, really hope that they don't keep producing the same five Logica songs and the same. You know, I mean, it would only Mini Potty has gotten a new song every year, right? Well, yeah. in my opinion, like, SG has been doing, like, more away towards, like, subgroup songs and more than just, like, in general songs. That's, that's, that's at least for, yeah, like, through even, my vision. Even the songs in general, and they got lazy and didn't write half of them new. They used... No, but the worst thing about it, the worst thing about this new album, and I'm going to say this right now, is that not only did they reuse songs that they already had, for a lot of them they used, they took out half of the vocal arrangement, and now it's just a, a dumbed down version of the previous song. It's not even as good as the last one. They get, they like get rid of the vocal lines in um, in school days, the school days remake. I thought I was very disappointed by that. They get rid of the harmony track. They got rid of. If they didn't, and they balanced it so that you can like not hear it at all. Um, Science Girl, Silence Boy was like that too. The only one that actually has a better version than the original on the new album is Yume Ni Mukate. But the Yume Ni Mukate vocal arrangement that they use isn't even new. It's from the 2013 Jump Up Campus Ticket Edition. It's the arrangement from that that actually has the sub harmonies on the melody line. And like, I mean, I don't know. I just I really love vocal like... harmonies. Vocal harmonies are my favorite thing because I love, like, that's just something I do. I really but... like the um, Sleep Peace song, the remake. The, uh, mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Singing yeah. Basically. Yeah. That was the only one that's really, like, different at all. But it's yeah. different because it's got so much talking stuff in it. And I like, yeah, I like having the new Sleep Peace, hearing them yeah. do the new stuff. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll agree. Like the harmonies weren't there. It didn't feel as strong as the first album, but I feel like that decision—not that decision for the harmonies, but the decision to put in old songs—was due to them having to teach a lot of new things to the six new members, and also because it was the fifth anniversary. And if I'm correct, all the new Those songs are just that easy got excuses. Uh, this is a cheap excuse. Well, yeah, yeah, I think. yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. But if you notice, or I- I'm pretty sure all the songs that got remade were only from 2010. Someone can yeah. correct me if I'm wrong. So Except have Science Girl, question. Silence Boy, this is 2012, oh, right? No, science, no science like the, clubs. The, the, the main songs. Yeah, the main songs. The all main the main songs. songs were taken from 2010. And if I'm correct, although I don't want this to happen, I feel like they're going to rehash two or three new, uh, old songs in the newest in the new, new album from 2011 and just keep kind of doing that. So we have a newer version of uh, each song. I don't think they need to do that. I don't think there's any reason for them to keep doing that. Yeah. I, I'm not, not like, I it doesn't, to it that doesn't matter if you're a new member or not. Like, you're going to have to learn a full set list anyway. Yeah. yeah. I, yeah I agree. Again, Amuse or SG heads do a lot of things that confuse us. And mm. I'm just saying what I think they would do. Well, the chat. This is what I feel like they would do. Yeah. The chat made a good point saying how. There are a lot of remakes because of of six transfer ins. So maybe this year they might not do as many remakes. But I hope that's the knows. reason. I still don't understand how that's the reason. But... I literally just said that. <laughs> <laughs> Baby Metal Club 2.0. Uh, no. uh... That's the one thing. Oh, that's... They can't remake that just because it's still a thing. They can't make me that, but Momo Way would be really happy if they, if they did. I, they're not gonna. They're not gonna remake it while Baby Metal is actually touring. 
Oh no 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 way no way they're not they're gonna yeah, make it no. anytime I mean like or at least anytime soon at least I don't th I don't think ever like yeah I don't think I, I don't think ever either but if they were to ever do it definitely not anytime soon it would it would piss off you know he who must not be named <laughs> <laughs> any new clubs you guys want to see new uh, clubs. Um... I liked the idea for the anime club. What was it, Momoi who said that? Was it Momoi? Momoi Mo 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 said she wanted to do an idol research club like in Love Life. <laughs> what about an idol club? Like an idol idol club within the night? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> idol section. Yeah, idol section. <laughs> should bring back that old man's club that they had before with the ties on their heads and the. The bottles. Oh yeah, <laughs> that would be great. Oh, I'd love to see that. Uh, who was it that did the uh, like the the mock of it? It was Moa, Shirai, and uh, uh, who was the other person? Ogre. No. Was it Ogre? Was it? I can see her doing something like that, but I don't remember. I don't remember if there was even video footage of that, or if I had seen it. If there was, I honestly don't remember, but. <laughs> Hopefully, they like I know, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, but, but I can't remember the exact details either. I actually uh, made a kind of a post on this before. It was about music genre clubs and how Baby Mail was the one of the only music genre clubs, and they did su su successfully well. And I asked people what they wanted to see. And fourteen four, uh, fourteen four. If you're watching, he recommended a or he suggested a Japanese pop and polka. <laughs> what do you think about that? <laughs> I mean, <Polka>. sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'd, uh... <laughs> wow. Oh, there's I an mean, idea. They... The meme club. The meme club. Courtesy of, courtesy the meme of club. Ritsu Crackers. <laughs> <laughs> and also the Buriko Club. Courtesy yeah, of I'd everybody who commented that. Anyway, new question from the Gloomer Twin. Uh, if you could have one graduate as a guest on the Hangout, who would you choose and why? Oh, please, we already know your answer. Marina. We already know your answer. I agree. I want Marina. Mm. We, we should have uh, we said Marina in here, but we have a, a cam on her, a face cam. Or <laughs> hand cam. Hand cam. Yeah. Hand cam. <laughs> <laughs> People would get seizures or like motion sickness. <laughs> I'm like, that's what I've always told people is if you could if you could meet one SG, I would meet Marina. Just because I want to see what I want to see what she says. It's like <laughs> that's the one person where like you could never like I don't I don't know what she would say next at any point. And also I think she'd be like the least judgmental out of all of them. She just seems. Yeah. She seems I, I, like she's too detached from reality to be yeah. judgmental. Su <laughs> Suzuka is my favorite, but I'm not gonna have to go with Reno on, on this one, this question, just because I'm just wondering. Like, I'm so interested in like what mean, what makes her brain tick. You know what I mean? I I I don't know what I would say. To <laughs> I feel like Reno is really emotional. It's just that she doesn't want to show it on stage. Well, we we actually know she's emotional because she said so. Yeah, she in says, low girl one. Girl. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So um, yeah, yeah. Rip for me, me for you me at least. Okay. It's he not though. No way. I don't believe you. Hey, what are you gonna say? Oh, What's your said, second choice? You after he not though, if you couldn't choose he not though, I couldn't choose he not though. Hmm. If we could have a guest on the show, I would probably choose one of the baby metal members, just so it just so boosts. Can get 10, viewers. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be horrifying, to be honest. Uh, oh, Paul, you also said they can make a Roku club with the M name members, uh, <laughs> six member club. Me and my two. I thought of that too, and like people have proposed that before as a joke, right? But like, oh, okay. I, was gonna say, I mean, KYG. It is Twinkle Stars had seven. 
The KYG so. club, that, that would actually work very well. Just a lot of screaming and yelling. <laughs> Scream no, cover. In the Yeah, uh... only they could do a song for that club and it would just be like what's like the like the um shoot, what's the most KYG music we can think of? Most KYG music. As in you can't you can't tell what people are thinking. Like um Nickelback. Uh Nickelback. I don't know. I don't know how to, I don't know what kind of music it would be. I don't know about that song, one. Right? <laughs> anyway. Uh, but before we move on to the next question, I want to say that uh, I actually commented about this when we were talking about new clubs. And I could, I think HYG could replace, kind of like incorporate scoopers into their act and just kind of become a KYG scoopers kind of thing where they re report on news but do it in like a mischievous way kind of i think that'd be kind of cool and just change the scoopers to three members instead of two and have it be kyg oh yeah <laughs> makes sense um, yeah. asks if you could have one member cook you a meal who would you pick <laughs> oh. we could what cook you a have... meal Hana. Hana, Hana works in the kitchen yeah, it's true. Works in the like kitchen, I, but... I, I pick, I pick, I pick Hana. <laughs> you know, Hinata um makes some great, great, great sweets. Oh, no. or or Marina, because no. I want no. my food <laughs> to come with a storyline attached to it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I think the best would be would be Rada. I think. Oh yeah, she, Mama Rao. She yeah, Mama uh, Rada. Yeah. No, but when when Marina cooks. Oh god! Names and they have oh, god. an intense, an intense backstory. <laughs> like in what was the what's the that banana. show called with the the banana the family? Sakusaku. The banana family. Sakusaku. Sakusaku, yeah. And they went on, and Banana Kun and like his mistress and his children. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> and then yeah. she said, and then she was just like, they were delicious, <laughs> like savage, <laughs> savage <laughs> app. <laughs> Anyway, um, question for Missing Ryo. Uh, what is your unpopular Sakura Gakuen opinion? Ooh. Oh my goodness, I have so many. I have one, I have one, I have one. Okay. Soyo, Soyo, Soyoka isn't as cute. Um, I, I can I agree with that. I, I isn't as cute that. as what? As like people make her out to be. Because of the glosses. Oh, um, yeah. 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 It just it hasn't gotten to me. I think the glasses are a gimmick. That's definitely a thing. Like, because she's not the the first member that does wear glasses. She's not the first one that does that. Yeah. Uh, and like, even if you look at her old pictures, she never wore glasses in any of those. It's like they made her wear them. It's a style thing, but I don't I don't mind that that's her thing. I don't mind that's her thing either. But just when the transfers came out, I wasn't following the hype train. Yeah, yeah, same. Yeah. Yeah, there was like a. Yeah. Everybody's on that Kano train, right? Woo! I, mean, I, rode, the, I rode the Kano train. Kano I actually train. was on the Kano. I was on the Kano, Mirina, and Momoko train. I was on the Kano and Marin train. <laughs> really? Wow. Yeah. I took a. I took a train. The English, the English train. The English train. It's not fair. Okay, moving on. <laughs> Any <laughs> other unpopular opinions? Unpopular opinion. You guys heard me bring up several of them, but I don't think they're show appropriate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll save that for the director's cut of this episode. <laughs> yeah, you can you can you can PM me if you really want to hear. Yeah. yeah okay. Uh, my popular as uh, unpopular unpopular opinion. Unpopular. Unpopular. As she opinion would probably be, I don't know, the I guess the. I guess it's not actually unpopular, uh. But the amount of content, the, the amount of content they're releasing really every year. Actually, no. Okay, my unpopular con uh opinion is that 2014 was one of the worst years. What? That was my favorite year. I'm sorry. I I think it's it was unpopular. Oh. It's, um, yeah. I, I guess you picked the right opinion. I, I really I really disagree with that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 
what, it was my starting year for for being a Fuke. I'll agree and, with you. Uh, yeah, it was just really disappointing. There are no videos coming out. There's nothing. There's a, the best uh, videos are from 2014. Really, in my opinion, really. like the music videos, I guess. 2014's Nendo album is probably my favorite Nendo album. Yeah, that so. too. It's my favorite Nendo album, definitely. <laughs> and it has my favorite music videos, my favorite singles. Yeah, yeah. No, I, like, I agree. It has my favorite I, I, SG song in it. So. God damn it, guys. It's my favorite I really SG agree song. That, mm. I really agree. I like the album and I like the music videos. But the year in general was really bad to me. It, to me, it was really bad. The content they produced, very little. The test didn't, just didn't feel as good as the other ones the uh mystery tube was not the content we really wanted mm -hmm. uh compared to uh past years where we got the cult quiz the appreciation party and all these stuff mm -hmm. in the southern Eleven light documentary it just didn't compare in my opinion and when i was looking stuff up as a new food kit i couldn't find anything besides heart no hoshi which i listened to a ton because i like i said i really do like the music but the year in general was just pretty bad. It was pretty I think dry. You could say the same thing about this. last year. I think they've just moved away from that in general, and they've moved most of their regularly produced content onto Law Girl, and that's the year Law Girl started. Yeah. Yeah, but they should have yeah. done it earlier, which which they didn't. So I have to take it for what it is. They didn't start Law Girl early enough, so we didn't get enough things. So I, I guess like so. It. Yeah. And this year they also went on TV more than last year with the Lion. I forgot what was it called, but with uh Tig Tig or something. Uh, they went on a TV show. They was that was more content, more TV than they had on last year. Like in 2013, they made it a priority to go on a lot of TV based shows. Um, and it, 2014 just didn't compare. It was really mm -hmm. lackluster. Well, you can you can like you can probably blame it on just, just the whole baby metal thing since they went to yeah. since, since like they had a fucked up baby metal activities in 2014. So. Oh, also also, they had 10 members that year, and two of them yeah. were off doing baby metal most of the time. Yeah. So it's like, they had eight members. It's really, hard to, yeah. it's really hard to do that stuff. But I can see that, yeah. Yeah, that's why I mm. say that. But I'm itching for another Sakura Gakuin on idling. <laughs> but idling is not a thing anymore. <laughs> it's not yeah, a thing anymore. Yeah, I know. That's the thing. That's why it sucks, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's because I wanted to see that I wanted to see what it looked like with the new members. I wanted to see that. <laughs> well, now you won't. You want to yeah. spit up? up so, green oh, hey, green. another unpopular opinion. Um, I like Ico. <laughs> I also like Ico. That's not unpopular. Before That's game is triggered. <laughs> game is triggered. I am uh, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> You can, you can, you can, you can. Uh, well, I was about to say I'm not a big Ico fan. So, which one is the more unpopular opinion? If you're saying you're an Ico fan, look, <laughs> look. <laughs> there have been many comments about Ico that I wish I had not seen. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I feel that. Like, what did she do to deserve you gotta, that? You gotta, you gotta not. Well, well, let's yeah. move away from this Ico banter. Do <laughs> any of you two have an unpopular Poor opinion? Hmm. Is there anything I can say? Um, I... That was my unpopular opinion, but if you guys want me to think of something else... Um... That's fine. We can move on to the next question. Mm. There's nothing to comment about. Moving on to the next question. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, here's a question from the chat. It was kind of funny. Which member of SG could beat Piccolo from Dragon Ball Z? Hana. <laughs> Hana. Yeah. Hana. Hana. Easy. Hana. <laughs> All right. I think maybe Hana would be. Anna and uh, Kano like do the tag fusion team. dance and the little fight team. Yeah. Kano would be oh, Emperor Pilaf from Dragon yeah. Ball. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, but Gage right. You can dig and do the pion pion dance and like do a kind of pion pion, thing. pion dance. <laughs> pion pion. <laughs> Please. <laughs> um. Next question. If you could have Marin say anything for you in English, what would you have her say? 
that's not fit. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Jet fuel can't melt steel beams. What? John Cena. <laughs> first of all, I'd have I'd have her say my name. If, like, first things first. I'm the realist. Look, I don't need any Iggy Azalea fans here, so. Huh. I just, Sorry, I, just had to, I just had to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Other than that, um, just a hello will do. Yeah. I mean, I'd like to have a conversation with her in English. Oh, I actually mm-hmm. wonder how far her uh, English span goes besides the few yeah. herders. Uh, yeah, because we don't really get to see it that much, do we? Yeah. Yeah. Right, right. Taglines and just stuff. A few phrases here and there it'd be interesting to see how she fares in like an interview setting but like she doesn't get that opportunity not like the baby metas if you yes. it's like we get to see we get to see them in practice because they get interviewed right by by pleb foreigners all the time pleb for- yeah. sorry you're a pleb foreigner in the chat which i'm sure none of you are <laughs> no not, sorry, not the people yeah, in the chat I'm are born. i mean like the ple- it's like the people that interview them are always it's such plebs, like, oh my god, shut up. You don't even <laughs> realize you're talking to right now. Oh my god. You don't deserve that. Rude. That's just me getting angry, though. I get angry a lot. Yeah. Sorry. It's fine. All um, right. It wasn't, re- I think we had time for like one more thing. And uh, it's not really a question, but in the chat, they, they kind of talked about uh, who's the best singer. And uh, what, what's your I opinion go. on the I go. current. Ico. I, I also agree. Ico. Still in the group, Ico. Still in the group. Ico. Yeah, still in the group, Ico. No and, comment. Uh, <laughs> Look, Gabe. <laughs> do you still want to be a host here? I just said. I just <laughs> said no comment. That's all I said. <laughs> I think most of us could agree that uh, Ico 2015. I mean, Ico 2016, Oga 2015, and Hana 2014. I'm pretty sure yeah. most of us could agree with that. 2013 Hinata. Uh, 2013, I, I think it's the one up for question, which I didn't get. 2013, that's, that's I didn't get. yeah, Hinata. I think, I think I think that's up for question. No, Hinata, man. You know what? She was done some Hinata. injustice, and that's why you don't agree. Because she didn't even as many second... solos as she could have no, had. No, 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 I didn't. I also think I also think it was Hinata, but I'm just saying it's questionable. And to be fair, Hana did. Hana also got injustice during her year, but I also said Hana. But, you know, people, you know, if you're, if you're in chat, give your opinion. What do you think was the best singer in 2013? I Go think Hinata has, Hinata has my number two favorite singing voice of all time. Really? Wow. Behind, not, I mean, in the group. Not of all time, of all time, but in the group. Who's number ever. one? Number one has to be Sue. If you don't say Sue. Oh, uh, clearly. Sorry. <laughs> you better, you guys better say Sue. <laughs> <laughs> It's okay, you disagree. We, we, Gabe won't kill you. He's probably from the other part of the world, anyways. What? Mm. What'd you say to me? <laughs> <coughs> no. I'll have you know, I have mm-hmm. over five hundred confirmed SG merch. <laughs> over five hundred. <laughs> over five hundred confirmed. Confirmed confirm. SG confirm. merch. So how many do you have that are unconfirmed? <laughs> <laughs> Not enough. From the copy. Now I need to make a whole version of that copy pasta. I'm sorry. Uh, you better credit me. I gave you the idea. <laughs> uh, I guess we have we still have to, we actually went by this faster than I thought we would, so we have still yeah. a, a, a little bit more time. And Echo Spectre actually mentioned best Dan- dancer. Sir. Yeah, Yui. We know Yui for her for you. I said Yui too. Yeah, I, Yui I, I, definitely. I don't pay attention to that. That's not. I don't really pay attention to the dance because, like, they always dance like in sync. Yeah, yeah I mean, I, I'd I, say I don't pay much attention. 2015 renown easy. Like, uh, uh, I pay I pay attention to the dance more than I do the vocals, just because I'm a person with dance background. So yeah, I have I mean, music me too, but like really dance background, so that's why I listen to music more, I guess. I don't know both, so I, but I just don't really don't pay attention to dance for Sakura Dakuin at the least because. I don't know. There was this. It looks the same to me. They do so well. <laughs> yeah, I guess we can't. I guess we, since we're not really 
too much of a dance expert except for Gabe here. We can't answer that as well. I um, like from the videos I've seen, Rinun's probably has has been the cleanest. So like from the performances in twenty fifteen that I've seen, at that's least. True. True. I haven't seen any twenty sixteen yet, so. Plus, true. Also Anna true. Is also Reno as well because you know Logo won. She mentioned yeah. when they when she saw them performing with uh, Logica for the first time, she thought Reno had the cleanest dance out of the three. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, Hana will definitely be a Reno for two thousand fifteen best dancer candidate or voter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I guess that's. Um, Oga, Oga well, was right. speaking of Oga. Yeah. Go ahead. You mean Oga with the girl from Fudanchuku? Yeah, we forgot to mention that. You, you mean the Oga that's? You mean the Oga that's? You mean the Oga that's appeared in like a zillion social medias post graduation, <laughs> and but doesn't have her social media herself? Exactly. <laughs> that Oga. <laughs> that Oga. <laughs> Yeah, That's but true. She, but yeah, she, she was, was with Buddha Erika recently. Mm -hmm. Um, they went to Purikara together. I know that. What else do we know? Fucking hate Purikara. That's what I know. Wow, <laughs> hater! Whoa, hater! Hater! hater. hater. Uh, that's I don't. That's unpopular opinion, I guess, but not so as <laughs> related. But if I could press a button that made all those blow up, those are like abominations they're unholy machines i refused like i went to japan and i refused to take pictures with my friends in the portica boot in the portica booths because like i was afraid it would steal my soul <laughs> um again we're, go we're going to do these best flashes than i thought we would so let's do one more question from polio says opinion on third gen mini patty overall compared to previous my favorite <laughs> generation of mini patty was um miracle patty hamburger Generation, so second. Yeah, second I think gen. second generation was my favorite second gen. grouping, but second third gen, gen got the best song. The Omurai song is the best mini potty song. I, I feel like Mir Miracle, the hamburger song is the best song. I like. I actually like. Yo yo. Uh, dun, 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 dun. Yo yo. Dun, dun. The curry it's one. Yeah, I like yeah. that too. Yeah. And Acha Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's second um, gen's best gen to me. Well, okay. Most no, you know, you like this second gen better. The question was opinions on third gen compared to the rest. Um, uh, uniform is not as good. I feel. I like the second. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uniform. I think they're trying to overdo it with the mini patty uniform this year. Yeah, they put a lot of weird embellishments yeah. on it now. Yeah. 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 So outfits not not as good. Um. Apparently, the song song was one of the best. I guess that's it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, should we should move on. Members yeah. are just good. Yeah, yeah we, we can move on. To okay. our little game. To our new segment. Um, something we've never done before on the podcast is a game segment. So we're calling this the class battle. And does anyone want to explain? Or shall I? Um, I guess kind of like a gambare. You can explain more. Gambare? Okay, so the game the game we're going to play today... Oh, we have to rejoin it. The game we're going to be playing today is called Spyfall. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of it. But I found Spyfall through uh, Nigahiga, if you guys know that YouTuber. Guys, join. <laughs> Joining, jeez. Yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, we found that I uh, found it through yeah Nigahiga. Um, it's a pretty cool game. It's kind of like Mafia, but it's pretty much um, it's like a, a bluffing game. So you have in the group you have a spy, and the spy's goal is to find out the location of the other members, and the members who are not the spy, they don't know who the spy is. Um, so they're trying to figure out who the spy is by asking other members a question. Um, basically, uh, 
pretty much spy has to figure out where everybody else is and everybody else has to figure out who the spy is. Yeah, so um we'll take turns in asking questions and if you're the spy and you figure out their location before the end of the round, then you can guess the location. But, but if you um if you're this uh, if you're not if you're not the spy um, then you have to wait until the end of the round, which is eight minutes, to guess who the spy is and put a vote to it. Yeah, so basically, one of us is a spy. We kind of figure out who it is. And you guys can join us. You guys can kind of play along with us. Guess along the way who it is. We'll, we'll, we'll have our stream closed, so we won't, we won't look at the comments. So we, uh, you guys can kind of play with us, see who you think the spy is, and see if you can get it right by the end of the segment or round. So yeah, if you can guess who the spy is before we do, um, then great job. You can get a shout out, I guess. <laughs> yeah, should we get started? Yes. We'll play one. Uh, we'll play two or three rounds. See how much time we have. All right, let's go. And the first person to start is Upgoon. Oh my. Okay. Um. Location. That's weird. Uh oh, it reset. Oh, it uh, yeah, reset. Oh, okay. Wait, start, start again. again. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm okay, first. Now it says you want to start. So yes. Okay, so let's see. Frankie. Yes. At this location, would you say you would be spending over thirty dollars. I could see someone spending over thirty dollars, but personally, I'm a low baller, so I go for the cheap stuff. All right. Okay. Frankie, oh, by the way, by the way, guys, the way the order works is someone is marked first on the game, and whoever gets asked the question gets to ask next. So since she asked me the question, I can ask the next question. Um. So, Gabe, would you say at your location that there's a lot of people? During a certain time of day or week, there is a lot of people, yes. Interesting. Okay. All right. Gabe's turn. Uh, Upgoon. Yes. Hello. Hello. Hi. How are you? Um, would you say your location is very family friendly? Um, depends on the establishment. A lot of them have uh, family oriented areas that I know of, at least where I'm from. But uh, in, in general, it does not stand out as being such it's not it's it's uh it, it, i don't know if you'd have your kid's birthday party at this location <laughs> um ivana yes okay um would you bring a dog to this location i would not bring a dog unless it was a guide dog. Mm -hmm. And I don't know how useful it would be for someone who needed a guide dog to uh, be at this place. So, huh. there you go. Okay. Your turn, Ivana. Uh, Gabe. Hi. At this location, would you say that at this location, would you say that um, you need to show something in order to enter? 
Yes. All right. Okay. Your turn, Gabe. Uh, Frankie. Yes. Would you say your location is a workplace for a lot of different people? A lot of different who? People. 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 Yeah, I could say a lot of places, including this place, are uh, is a place for a lot of workers, people. Sure. Okay. Okay. Uh, Gabe, would you say that you see a lot of blue in this location? Yeah, definitely. Okay. Okay, Gabe. Ivana. Yeah. Would you say you would you say this location serves alcohol? This location? Yes. Serving alcohol? Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can see that. I can see it. I see that happening. Gabe. Hi. At this location, would you say um, People can get a part-time job there. Um, yeah, you could. You could? Okay. Yeah. Go on, Gabe. Your turn. Um, Frankie. Yes. Nobody loves up. <laughs> <laughs> would you say <laughs> would you say this location has a lot of weapons um it depends on what you see as a weapon but uh sure frankie's turn right uh gabe would you Hi. say that you can feel a lot of natural breeze in this location? Mm, most of the time, no. Most of the time, no. Okay, Gabe's turn. Might want to give some love to Upgoon, maybe. Yeah. Six questions and no Upgoon. <laughs> Upgoon. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, uh, hello. <laughs> Would you say this place is uh is would you say this place is safe? Um it could be. Depending on who owns the establishment, because uh, they can be run by less than reputable characters. Uh, no, um, okay, Frankie, if you yes. were to die in this location, what person or animal do you think most likely killed you? What? <laughs> what person? Probably a big person who is who is bald with sunglasses. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm seeing that. Uh, I'm seeing that. Defo. Okay. Uh, Ivana. Yeah. Would you say this is a place with a lot of kids? I would not think so, but the round is now over. And as long the round's not over, we now kinda get into a discussion to see who we think the spy is and we kinda do a little vote. So um if I think, I think game. Ivana's the spy. I think it's game. Well, okay. Let, let me. 
I'm good. I, I'm good. I think we're safe, right? You, do you agree we're safe? You, 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 you yes. Kinda, you agree we're okay. Wait, it could be Frankie yeah. then. Wait, oh, no, it's Frankie. I think it's Frankie. <laughs> no, it's yeah, game. It's no, game. no, no. I think it's Frankie. Oh, up, kid, please. Don't turn uh, off. My first accusation was just a bluff. <laughs> <laughs> I personally, oh, okay. Enough of your dang bluffs. I personally think it's either Gabe or Ivana, but I'm leaning more towards Gabe. It's gotta be Gabe then. I vote for Frankie. Uh, there's two votes for Gabe. Two votes what do you, for Frankie. What do you think, Gabe? What do you think, Gabe? Before we uh, kind of confirm this, what what do you think, Gabe? What do I think? Yeah. What do you think? Is the place you guys are at a casino? Oh, damn it. <laughs> no! I told you. I told you. <laughs> oh, God damn. Is it, it, it is, right? Yeah. Dude. Uh, oh. Anyway. God damn. We have time for dun, one, one dun, more. Dun, dun. So let's... Uh, did anyone guess casino in the... I mean, did no, anyone it's... guess Gabe was, a spy? Gabe, Gabe was a spy? Did anyone guess it was Gabe? Oh, Voltex did. Shout out to Voltix. You're the, you're the real detective in this up in the chat. I you suck at this game. You be, you be going with your Scooby Doo companion and uh, finding out the location. Shout out to you, Voltix. I, I knew it was a casino like, um, like two, three minutes ago. But I just want to be sure if I asked the right questions. And you can run your time out, I guess. Yeah. All right. Well, one more round. Oh, yeah. Before we start. I'm, it was meant for us to put the location in chat, mm -hmm. so you guys can kind of go along with the questions and guess who the spy was. But I guess that we kind of messed up and didn't put the location in the. Uh, oh, it was on the stream. It was on stream. Okay, never mind. It was on stream. But yeah, you guys would know the location mm -hmm. hopefully, Tech teams, and you yeah. can kind of guess who the spy is with us. And if you're right again, we'll give you another shout out. And uh, here we go. Next round. Close your stream, host. Stream. Closed. Yes. Starting game. Uh, Gabe is first. All right. Um, let's go. Of Goon. Yes. Hello. Giving, giving you more love this time. Uh, yes. Welcome. Would you say your job is to help other people at this location? My job? Yes. yes. Yes, it is. Yes. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, Frankie, how yeah. happy are you when you visit this location? <laughs> are, you a, are you having a great time <laughs> when you come to this place? Uh, I guess oh, it depends on what, what, what side I'm on. <laughs> what I, side? Yeah, I get depends on what side I'm on. Okay. Okay. Uh up to you, you know, following the trend of giving more love. Uh what would you say is a is a common color you see here? What is a common color I see here? Mm. Purple. Okay. Okay. All right. Um Ivana see let's see if you won the rights to this location in a willy wonka type contest what would be the first thing you did when you were running it if i was running this location yeah when well, um... you make a big change what would you do this location, at least in my area, or at least the one I know of, I would change. Oh, um, probably change some of the, you know, furniture in there. Yeah, I, I follow you. I get you. Yeah. All right. I feel it. All right. Uh, Gabe. Hi. 
at this location, would you find yourself Would you find yourself, you know, walking a lot? Walking a lot. Depending how big it is. Okay. If it was small. Interesting. Interesting. Probably, yeah. Okay. Okay. Um. Wait, when can I make guesses who this fight is? No. Not until the end. Not until the end? No, oh, damn. Oh, well, um, if it's your turn and you're the spy, you can guess. The location? Yeah. But if I'm not the spy, then... Then you wait. I have to, get, I have to wait until the end. All right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Gotcha. Gotcha, hmm. gotcha, gotcha. Um, a little sus. A little sus there. Is it a sus? Uh, I'm not sure if it's a sus or not. I... I mean, you could assume what you want to assume, but I'm not. Got nothing to worry about with me. I'm a pretty innocent guy. But, up, goon. Yes. Sussers, sus, sus. So, yes, welcome to up, goon. Um, <laughs> would you say this area? There's a lot of happy people. Uh, I'd say for the most part, no. Okay. Well. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'm just going to leave it at that. Go on. Okay. okay. Frankie. Yes. Um. Dang, I'm running, I'm running out of clever ideas here. Um, three minutes left in the round. Have you ever been to this location in your real life? I have, actually. You have? Okay. Whoa. That's awesome. <laughs> that's uh, that's pretty unusual. Unusual, okay. Is it I unusual? Um, okay. I actually don't think uh, it's uh, unusual. All right. Uh, Frankie's okay. turn. That's, all that's, right. That's, uh, Frankie's turn. Pretty, okay, okay. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to yes. say this place moves. Moves. Yeah, what'd you say it moves? Um, If it gets destroyed in a catastrophic event, maybe... <laughs> Okay, okay. I don't foresee any other <laughs> situation in which that would happen. Oh, oh, it's my turn, right. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yes. Gabe, if I... this location uh, were, to, were to blow up, not with you in it, let's say no one's, no one's harmed in the explosion, but the location blows up. Um... Point blowing up then. Are you get? Are you glad about it? Do you enjoy this explosion? The fact that the place blew up. Probably not. You're not happy that it blew up. Okay. No, no. I mean, they paid good money to. to yeah, they have it right. So. Yeah, because you know they. Yeah, they, they. They. <laughs> they. Game, game, go on. Uh, Afghan. Yes. Hello. <laughs> uh, do you think this is a place that everybody should visit every once in a while? Every once in a while. Well, yeah. I mean, I think it's I think it's possible to to live a complete and fulfilling life. Okay. Without right. visiting this location ever. Well, I but, missed um, the answer. What was it? Not not my life, personally. Okay. All right. Okay. okay. You have 20, so get... 20 seconds. 26 seconds. 
Okay, I get one more question. Uh, Iv Ivana, um, yes. what is your favorite thing to do at this location? My favorite thing to do at this location is to eat. Okay. I would have said the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so technically it's my turn, but um, there's three seconds left. Yeah, so, so listen. Yeah. Listen, I think Upgoon is the spy. Yeah, I think, I think Upgoon is the spy. I think I'm the spy too. Are you the spy, Upgoon? No, I'm, I'm not. A, I'm not accusing myself of being the spy. I think Frankie is the spy. What? The Frankie. <laughs> if anything, I think it's Upgoon or Gabe. No, okay. No, at first, I, I was just real, I was really suspicious of Gabe, but then he did this like he did the whole, you know, asking us the instructions kind of thing. So I got really confused. No, yeah, that's why I but, think Gabe is the spy. Oh, what? I still think it's Upgoon. I, I think, think it's, it's game. I think it's up Should we do a vote? Up Should we do, do, a vote? We, do the three of us think it's up Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, then, up is it you? You guys suck. No. Oh. <laughs> it's me. I'm the dean of the universe. <laughs> wait, wait, what the fuck is Frankie? <laughs> Frankie, no, Frankie. Where's the location? I don't need to know location. You guys lost. Yeah, we already <laughs> lost, and I already said it. <sighs> Damn it. <laughs> it wasn't, I actually didn't know location. It's the university. The university. university. Damn purple. it, Abdul. You're a sus as fuck, dude. Oh, God damn. Purple. I go Abdul. to LSU. Our colors are purple and gold. Well, what do you I, want me to say? I don't know the LSU colors. <laughs> and then you said it was you said it was unusual for um <laughs> for Frankie to be there. Yeah. And that it... was that was to throw you off. <laughs> Why would you do that? I don't know. <laughs> I thought it would be oh. fun. <laughs> anyway, that's I guess it call. was. Oh, well, no I, I made us all rip. Did anyone guess correctly? Actually, no one guessed me. No, it's pretty I did it first. Everyone thought it was me. <laughs> it was, it was, you were, they, they thought it was you were up goon. Yeah. Which is like... um. Whoever says the hospital, Ector, Echo, I actually thought it was a hospital for a while. Because I was like, what this, what's purple? And the only thing was like, maybe a hospital is purple. <laughs> so I, didn't, I really didn't want to get uh, I like how Tech Team was like, I have no idea, but I'm leaning towards Ivana too. I don't think it's up good. Tech Teams, I was the one who told you the location. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Keen, it was me. Uh, yeah. But they got it wrong. So I win. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Dang. Then the uh, rip. That yes. Is, that's <laughs> if you guys, if you guys have any other suggestions for games we should play, yeah, uh, let us know on Twitter or um, Reddit. I don't or, know why we didn't just play Cards Against Humanity. We can do that next time if you want. With the yeah. Arona deck, the SG deck. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So <laughs> I think it's time to end the show. <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, if you have any suggestions for the games or whatnot, you can leave them, like she said, Twitter, Reddit. Oh, not Reddit, I guess. Twitter, Ask Reddit, AskFM. Yvonne's AskFM. Plug in here, here, or even on the follow. Publishing right here. Because the comments yeah. will stay follow. for a while. Follow, follow, follow Dome Productions on Twitter. Twitter. I only Facebook. accept communication via carrier pigeon and <laughs> yeah. uh, and okay. psionic communication across the astral plane. I accept that as well. Yeah. What you yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. Next next episode will be announced soon. So um, we'll be doing this. Good eye out for that. We're we'll doing the show monthly, so the next time you'll be seeing the show will be sometime in September. But you can look out for the recording of the episode to be uploaded next week. After that, we have some bonus content for you guys to look forward to as well. Stay tuned for that. Oh, and shout out to our Lone Man Tech Team. The Lone Austin. Man Tech Team. Yeah, Austin, 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 <laughs> yeah. and thanks for stopping by um yeah keep an eye out for us thank you for joining us this episode we really hope to keep going with this for you guys as well yeah um cool. yeah keep an eye out for our next announcement yeah. and a recording of this episode if you want to watch it again I don't know if you do I mean yeah. it's 
two hours. So. Yeah. yeah. Thank you very right. much for right. hanging out with us. Yeah, who's right. the day leader? Kidits! Kidits. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Next time on Fuke Hangout. Bye. Bye bye. See you. See you. Oh, Chow Smiles preview. Chow Smiles preview now. <laughs> <laughs>